Hello everyone. I've just received the January 2021 Tag of the Month kit from Laurie Padilla of Piles of Paragraphs on Etsy. Um, for those of you that um, are new to my channel, Laurie produces a Tag of the Month kit um, every month which she sells via her Etsy shop. Um, you'll find a whole playlist full of tags that I did during 2020 for anybody who's interested but I'll also leave the link to um, Laurie's store um, if you want to go and pay a visit. So each month you get um, a themed tag kit for you to put together as you wish so for the january tag of the month kit we've got the little information leaflet as always um, the focal images from the new york public library domain digital um, images um, and she as always says that please feel free to use any of the parts of the the kit that you want to use and feel free to use um, bits and pieces of your own stash as well if you want to but let's have a look and see what we've got we've got this gorgeous gorgeous shoe focal image i love that that's absolutely beautiful um and then we've got various um silver and um sort of graphite gray trims and papers and things so we've got this lovely trim here some ribbon um organza um this looks like folded over um silver paper really cute and then we've got various papers to use as well so we've got some um couple of pieces of silver tissue paper um some textured papers here two of those um really like um those um some metallic silver paper really like this this looks like wallpaper although i don't think it is i think it's just um, a textured piece of scrapbooking paper we have some um gray vellum really like that a little silver sticker and um, a silver star charm and of course as always the tag base that you can work from so I'm just going to put my thinking cap on um, have a look and see what I think I might be able to come with, up with and as soon as I've done that I'll be straight back okie dokie I've had a look through the papers and a plan is forming together in my head I just want to stick um, this piece of silver paper and I'm really not sure which side this is supposed to be on but I think I'm going to have it um, this way around just because we've got some um, lines and things on this side here I'm just going to try and use a glue stick I don't know whether this is going to work but I can always add some um, tacky glue or three in one if it doesn't stick so we'll just glue this all over the back just paying particular attention as always to the edges I think this is going to be fine actually so we'll just stick this down just to give it um, a bit more weight. It's a bit flimsy to work with at the moment. And I've just got um, a piece of scratch cardstock, craft cardstock, that I'm going to stick it stick it down to like just that. To try and tone down the silver. And I have no idea whether this um, is going to work or not. I'm just going to try and rub some of my stays on ink over the top of this here in the hope that the black will just catch just on the raised bits and just add a bit of colour to it just to tone down the shininess and I think it's working. That Just look how cool that looks. Um, all I want to do now is just take a baby wipe and just try and buff any of the excess away which should um, help to reveal um, more of the silver which it is doing and take any of the ink that isn't quite dry off the surface as well. So I carried on rubbing the excess black ink away um, with um, a baby wipe and um, a, just a, a kitchen towel. During the process I did realise that the edges were peeling up and this is actually sticker paper so those um, marks that I saw on the surface um, were just actually the contact paper so of course I've um, peeled that off and stuck it back down. Um, I did use a bit of scotch um, glue stick as well so I just want to start building my tag. Now I've I've decided to pull out some paper from um, my scrapbook stash. This is just um, from a pad that I had from the pound um, store. I just think that background just goes absolutely beautifully with the colours of the other papers that Laurie's included in the kit. And I think that I want to build um, my background something like this. Now, this paper here is vellum paper and glue stick I find um, works quite well. And not that one, it's diamond glaze um, works really well for gluing vellum down um, as well. So I'm just going to use um, a tiny um, amount of um, the diamond glaze. Glossy accents I'm sure would do much the same thing. Let me just um, grab a pin. These always clog um, at the ends. So you always need to go in there with a, with a pin when you haven't used it for quite some time. I'm only just going to add just a small amount um, around the edges like this. This dries clear so you won't see it once, um, once everything is dry. 
so just a small amount um, just around the edges just just like this there we go and then I can stick that down onto that beautiful patterned paper just make sure that I've got this the right right way up I think this is so pretty the colors are just absolutely perfect make sure that um, I've got um, an even even border as well and you can see that you can barely um, see that glue that's just worked um, beautifully and for the remainder of the papers I'm just going to use three um, in one and glue stick to glue it down so as I say that one there is going to go um, on next in fact actually I probably should um, use diamond glaze for that just because I'm gluing it um, onto the vellum is there a difference in these sides I think they're both pretty much the same I've had this weighted down underneath a heavy book so that's all glued um, down nicely and now I just want to layer my focal image on. I've used some um, Distress Oxide in Ice to Spruce to frame that and I've done the same um, with this piece here so I'm just going to glue um, that down um, there like that. I do want a tiny bit of the grey showing um, at the bottom. Um, now because this is quite textured I just need to um, add something to the sides here. Let me just have a, a think about that. Okay what I've decided to do I've cut four slithers off the end of this piece of craft cardstock. I'm just going to glue these together um, and then I'll show you what um, I'm going to do. So I'm just going to glue two together um, for either end just a small amount that's probably too much I don't want it all squirting um, out of the edges so just glue those two pieces together I'll do exactly um, the same with these two here and then I can glue this down to um, either end and that will just give me um, enough height if I put it far enough in you won't be able to see it but that will just lift it up so that um, these are flush so I'll do exactly the same with the other side and tacky glue dries really quickly so now I can just apply dab more glue here and just attach these like that ready to glue down onto my onto my tag and the same with this side here this is just the tonic studios um, tacky glue I quite like this glue actually I got it from a craft fair in the days where the craft fairs were, were running and I bought two for about 50p each I think if my memory serves me correctly and of course now I can glue that um, on there like that and um, it's just lifted it um, just the right um, amount so again I can just um, apply a small amount of glue here and stick stick that down as well bit more there perhaps and as I've said I just want um, a small amount of that grey showing like that there we are in fact I think I want some glue in the middle here as well not too much there we go that should that should do it try again there we are and I'm just going to weight that down underneath a heavy book just to make sure that, that that sticks nicely. Now, of course, I glued all of my tag bases down to a piece of craft cardstock last year. Um, this time, for this January one, I'm going to um, glue this onto a piece of black cardstock because I just think that looks so dramatic. I just absolutely love the way that looks. I'll save that for um, the next tag kit. Um, I love that. Um, and I do have a piece, a um, couple of pieces of other paper that were included in the kit. I think I'm going to have this piece of um, text paper here I love this and I'm going to pop that there as a tab um, on the top um, I think um, I've also got um, a piece of sparkly paper that um, I've cut out of this paper here this was sent to me by my friend Kathy um, is this um, sticky back uh, do you know <laughs> I can never tell it's making me paranoid because um, I've had a couple of situations re uh, recently where I thought something was just regular cardstock and it's turned out to be um, sticker paper I don't think this one this one is so I think we're safe with this one here so I'm going to stick this one down first and I'm just going to apply a bit of three in one just um, in the center just so that it doesn't all ooze out um, over the edges so we'll glue this one down first I just need to make sure that um, I get that nice and central I just want it slightly raised off the back 
off the top of the the tag like that so this stuff dries really quickly so that's that there and then I can glue this one down here um, as well I think I can probably get away with maybe trimming um, this one slightly I don't want it hanging too far down the back um, of the the tag I want it about there like like that so I can maybe um, just trim that to this level here let's just grab my scissors wrong ones those are my fabric scissors so we'll just trim that off there like that um, and again i can just add some three in one here and again just centralize it just a couple of finishing touches i just want to use my crocodile just to punch um, a hole in the center here like this about there like like that um, I've got um, a silver eyelet as well so I'm just going to squeeze that um, into place please don't screw this up Nina so we'll just squeeze that down there like that I love how that looks perfect there we go and then we can glue that down on top and then I just need to find a way to um, dangle this really pretty little charm I was hoping to be able to use some of this um, ribbon but it's not quite long enough so I found some um, silver sparkly ribbon in my stash this um, is perfect what's this one here Sinfinity that I got um, from our local floristry wholesalers that unfortunately has closed down like so many other businesses so I'm just going to um, pop this through the top and this will um, give me a hanging mechanism for my little um, charm so we'll have that um, on there like that it's going to need trimming but I'll do that um, in a in a second so I just want to um, put a jump ring just loop that through there like that and close close that up there we go um, that's that's fine um, and then I want to pop um, another jump ring through the charm here like this and then I can loop that through the other jump ring and close close that up that's my charm attached oh that's so pretty that's really cute um, let's trim these now to about there there we go like like that and then I can attach my little tag onto the onto the top finally I just want to glue my tag onto the background I'm just going to use three in one to do that just a bit around the edges here we go and a bit in the middle as well I think this is so pretty very Cinderella don't you think Cinderella went to the ball oh whoops and let me just pop that on top and centralize it and again I'll just weight that down underneath the heavy book for a second or two until that um that glue grabs I love that now the tag already looks gorgeous exactly as it is but I found this trim that I've had in my stash for goodness knows how long um, many of you that have followed me for a long time will probably um, remember this from other projects I just want to add um, a touch of it um, along the bottom now this border um, is just too long so what I want to do is just fold fold it over I'm just going to use a small amount of Fabri-Tac to do to do that I think it was five wasn't it that I wanted to use so I'm just going to fold fold that over like that um, just use a couple of pegs just to clip that um, in place until the glue has grabbed um, where have they gone so we use a couple of these um, small small clips like this just to glue that as I say until till the glue grabs and then I can just glue it um, onto the bottom and I just think that's the perfect finishing touch. I think that will look so pretty. The trim on this card, I think, is just absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that just so pretty? And to finish my card off, I'm just adding some of the um, Tim Holtz Chit Chat words. Hang on, where have they gone? And I'll tell you exactly um, what they are. Small Talk. These are the um, Tim Holtz Ideology um, Small Talk. They come in black and white. I just felt that the white picked out the border from the shoe. These don't stick down very well. Um, on their own so um, I'm just um, choosing to ink around the edges just using frayed burlap and adding a tiny bit of tacky glue just to make sure that these don't ping off which they are prone to do so a tiny bit of tacky glue there like that whoops 
and then centralize that and then as my final finishing touch there we go I just feel as if we need something here along the bottom and so again I'm um, bringing back that um, glittery cardstock that I used um, at the top here I just think that goes absolutely um, beautifully and I've used my small heart punch here it is just a cheap one 50p from Hobbycraft and I've cut out three of these and I just want to glue these on the bottom um, like this and I just think that finishes um, my tag off absolutely beautifully so I know that um, I've added a few items from um, my own stash but I do think that I've kept it um, within the theme that um, Laurie intended I just think it's absolutely beautiful as I've said before just very um, Cinderella S. And here's my finished tag of the month for January 2021. I'm thrilled to bits with this. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. I have got um, a few bits and pieces um, left over. I've got the two pieces of tissue paper, which I didn't end up using, um, and a couple of pieces of the lovely ribbon. So I shall pop those to um, one side and, you know, be sure to use those in something else. I've also got the um, star sticker um, and this piece of netting, which I didn't end up using. I'm really cross with myself because I pulled um, this netting out here which I plan to put underneath the focal image this is from a previous tag kit and I think that would have looked really pretty um, underneath there but I completely forgot about it so there we go too late seeing as everything is um, is glued down but for anybody who's interested I'll leave the link to Piles of Paragraphs in the description box below as well as the link to the Facebook group the Mixed Media Emporium for anybody who is following along with this um series and wants to um, share their tags that they've put together please come and join us there is um, an album in the group where you can share um, all of your made projects so you know as I say I'll leave the link to that in the description box below but if you've enjoyed my project today as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below and take care everyone thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon bye for now